Proper belt tension is essential for the life of the belt, the pulleys, and also the components on the drive belt system. If there's not the right amount of tension, well, the belt's gonna slip, it's gonna wear out. If there's too much tension, well, you could cause damage to an alternator or a power steering pump. But how do you measure this tension? When you're measuring belt tension, essentially you're measuring the amount of deflection in the belt. There are some specific OEM tools that can do this, and they can kind of get a little pricey at times, but on some vehicles, they might be essential. One tool that does not cost that much, and it can give you an idea of the amount of tension on the belt, well, it's what's known as a cricket gauge. This gauge can measure the amount of tension in most belts, and there's gonna be readings in most belt suppliers catalogs that correspond with the readings on this gauge. How do you use it? You make sure that this is fully pushed down, so it's flat with the readings on the tool, and then you put it on your finger in the special band, and then you position it on the belt. Hold it flat on this edge, and then just simply press down. This little gauge on the end pushes up, and the marks on the scale itself correspond with the amount of tension on the belt. So what do you do with this number? Well, go to your supplier's catalog, and typically in the front part of the book, they're gonna have readings for a cricket gauge, and this will give you the right amount of tension for the vehicle, for the width of the belt, and number of ribs. In some kits, there's gonna be three different cricket gauges that correspond to the amount of force needed to deflect the belt. So make sure that you're using the correct cricket gauge and that you have the scales from your belt supplier's catalog.